From overcoming tragedy now to overcoming personal setbacks. Two sisters fired from their jobs just months apart, but they managed to turn it all around, turning a hobby that they picked up in high school, making jewelry with their dad's cardiology tools and turning it into a business. Now their jewelry company, Danny Joe, is mega successful, worn by everyone from Oprah to Beyonce and Madonna. Take a look. Tell me about the company. You, you started this with your best friend and sister. Yes, um, so my sister and I are from Jacksonville, Florida, and we've been making jewelry since we were kids. And it was something that we always did as a hobby. We loved making jewelry from a young age. With your dad's cardiology equipment. Yes, my sister taught herself how to make do wire work with his medical equipment. And then at the beginning of 2008, and kind of one of the worst economic recessions ever. Um, we both got fired from our jobs. You and, got fired? Yeah, within three months from each other and decided now or never. And we started Danny Joe in March of 2008. So to anybody who has been fired from a job or laid off or quit, what is your advice? Well, I think that for us, you know, it served as an opportunity because we always wanted to try this and it gave us the confidence. You know, before we would have been a little scared, I think, to quit our jobs to start this full time. But because we got fired, we were very impassioned to kind of try it and see what happened. And I think at that time, we were both in our early 20s. We said, we're going to give ourselves six six months. See you if set we, a timetable. We said, well, our parents set a timetable. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, uh, you can't do this forever if it doesn't work out. But we gave ourselves six months to see um, if we could get the business up and running. And literally at like month five, um, Bergdorf Goodman's picked us up. And we really organically. What did that take from, to get? Because a lot of people will hear that and say, well, they must have known somebody. We didn't know anybody. My sister's fearless. Um, and she cold called Bergdorf Goodman's, and timing is everything. And the assistant buyer picked up and said, come by for 15 minutes to get some advice. And that got us in the door. And once we showed our product, she saw how passionate we were and how different it was from what else was on the marketplace. She took a chance on us. So. And you just pushed and pushed and yeah, you made you your way in. Yeah, you have to. I always recommend to anyone that's starting a business. It, it, there are times where it gets really challenging. And for me, having a partner really helped me at those difficult times at the beginning. So having someone that compliments you and can push you through any obstacle along the way, you don't just give up because someone else is there telling you we can make this happen. For somebody who is completely overwhelmed by the prospect of jewelry, yes. how to pair jewelry with clothing, earrings, right. necklace, bracelet, what's your best piece of advice? We always say that um, you know, start with something small or start with something that you feel comfortable in. You can always gradually get up to the phase where you're wearing more statement jewelry, but I think you'd be surprised because we're petite and I usually am wearing a huge statement necklace or we do arm parties where you stack Arm party, up. that's what you call that. Yes, this is an arm party. And so I think that it's just trying new things and seeing what you feel comfortable in. Um, when we do like personal appearances and we're talking to customers, you know, sometimes we'll try things that they would never pick up, but once it's on them and they see how you style it, they feel more comfortable and then that kind of starts their whole jewelry collection. What's your biggest piece of advice to a man who is buying the gift of jewelry for a woman? If you buy something that's classic and timeless, you really can't go wrong. So things that aren't um, as trend-based or better. Pearls, diamonds, gold. One last question. Yes. Biggest trend in jewelry right now? It's kind of like a reverent jewelry, so I'm wearing like an ear jacket. So that's front, what that's called, an ear jacket. jacket. So the front and the back are two different pieces. People are really into kind of this whole movement of new kind of ways of wearing earrings. You can take something that you've had from your mother or your grandmother and mix it with something that's new and contemporary. There's no of, rules in this there's one. There's no rules. It's kind of, I think that's what's so great about jewelry. You really can individualize your look. Thank you so much for joining us for Real Biz. We want to hear from you. Is there a special woman in your life that is giving back to your community? Tell us about her. Like us, tweet us at Rebecca Jarvis and comment below. And from the studios in New York City, I'm Rebecca Jarvis. Have a great day.